Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get four items completely free in Disney Dreamlight Valley between April 5th and April 12th. And they'll probably never be available again after that, so listen up. And then we're going to talk about a little bit of tea going on around this because why not? So here are the four free items that you can get. These will be launching on update day via Twitch drops. If you're not familiar with Twitch drops, it's quite literally just watching Twitch streamers on your account for a set amount of time to unlock these items. For those of you who aren't familiar with Twitch, I will walk you through it. Starting on update day, you will need to watch one or multiple of these selected creators. 15 minutes for the Mickey ears, 30 minutes for the gamer chair, collectively 45 minutes, 30 more minutes for the chair, 45 more minutes for the laptop, and another hour for the hoodie. So a total of 150 minutes, but don't worry, Twitch is really good at tracking this and helping you keep track of your progress. Even if you don't really like watching streamers, I highly recommend participating in this campaign as the game is not even free yet. These items will probably be pretty rare or honestly, they're just cool in general. So if you don't care about that kind of thing, you know, just leave the tab open. You don't actually have to watch if you don't want to. I do recommend watching streamers. I mean, I stream myself and I'd like to say that we're pretty cool, especially for a cozy game. Anyway, so here's how you get it started. Click the first link in the description of this video and it'll take you to the Twitch drop tab on the dreamlight valley website and then you're obviously just going to log into your twitch and then log into your dreamlight valley account and it will connect the two if you don't have a twitch already obviously go to twitch.tv and make a twitch account sorry i forgot to mention that maybe go follow me while you're there twitch.tv slash amy if you link the wrong account you are able to unlink and connect the correct account then on update day on that same Twitch account, you want to watch one of these participating streams for a total of 150 minutes. You don't have to watch just one. You can watch for 30 minutes and then exit and then come back for the rest. You can watch 30 minutes on one person, 30 minutes on another person. It doesn't matter. As long as you see the Twitch drop progress, it's definitely going. The second link in the description of this video is to your Twitch drops inventory where right now you probably won't see anything because this does not start until update day, but that is where you will have to go to claim your rewards once you have them. Otherwise, they can expire. So a little notification should pop up that you've earned each reward and you want to go and actually claim them. And then as that happens, once you accumulate 150 minutes, you'll have everything, but they should be popping up in your game over time. You probably will have to reset your game. I'm not sure, but it looks like they're going to be going to the mailbox. So you'll probably have to reset the game and then go to your mailbox. If you do not receive your items, then you want to put in a customer care ticket. Here is the information on how to do that. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. Now let's talk about how I'm salty. That cut is from the prior take. I can't really take it out without fully redoing it. And I already cut an 11 minute rant out of this video. <laughs> yes, this is my second time making this video because I took some time to calm down and also have some new information about this tea. So I was maybe being a little bit dramatic because I was upset and I had just woken up. So let's talk about it. We're going to cut into live calm here for a moment just so we can go everything together and be really authentic. So basically what we're talking about here is that a lot of the creator community is upset with how they're doing this first Twitch drop and myself is not disincluded from that. You can see here I even tweeted at them. So you may have noticed when I was going over how you get this that it's like a specific group of streamers only that you can watch to get the items and a lot of us aren't too happy about that. So when I first saw this I jumped out of my bed so excited to make this video and just tell you guys hey come watch my stream and I can get you these items. And then as I was reading the article and collecting my information, I realized, oh, it's not gonna be available on my channel. Back in the day, Twitch drops were always like this. They were always exclusive, but I think they kind of realized that it's unfair and just not the best way to go about it. So now typically all games have them open to all streamers. So I said, how do you get pre-selected for this kind of thing? I love the drops, but only promoting certain streamers kind of hurts for those of us who have dedicated channels to the game and want to have our viewers watch us to get the cool items. I spend hours making videos for this game. I still stand by this statement, but I'm a little bit less upset because I've since talked to a community manager and learned that this is just kind of their first test and they'll maybe change things in the future. And Disney Dream and Valley themselves has seen a lot of the outrage from this and replied and said, we're always looking at how we can open up opportunities like this to even more folks in the future, especially since this community is filled with so many incredible creators. Keep an eye on our social channels, blah, 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 future updates. You can see a lot of replies. I love this. Are there any plans to expand this in the future to all Twitch streamers that stream Disney Dream Valley though? I've never seen drops be limited to certain streamers before. This is disappointing. I said, I agree, these creators are all amazing and so are the items, but all Disney Dreamlight Valley's Twitch streamers should be able to enable them. That is how most Twitch drops work nowadays and it's not really fair to all the other creators. 
I'm really sad to see this is limited to certain creators. There isn't really anyone on that list I feel like supporting. Well, okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> I love the idea, but like all other Twitch drops, why is this not open for everyone? There are so many amazing Disney Dream Life Valley streamers who are not on your list. And you can just find a lot of that on this thread. So hopping into my direct um, mentions here to what I said, you can see Sarah said, agreed, I've made a ton of guides and videos. I agree they should allow more. How can they grow without support? Same, agreed. Um, and then here, someone misunderstood me. And then this person said, the issue is not that people aren't able to get the items. The problem is you can only watch certain streamers to get them. So viewers are actively being pushed to watch a handful of streamers, which hurts everyone else who streams the game. Exactly. The streamers that are included in this are all wonderful and lovely, but it's just not really fair to disinclude literally everyone else. Inclusivity is very important. Diversity is very important. And if your favorite streamer streams Disney Dream My Valley, you should be able to just watch them to get the drops instead of having to leave their stream and go watch somebody else. This is why there was an 11 minute rant from me, but like I said, with Calm Down Sense, and I also recommend it to the community manager that in the future, they may be open it to all streamers, which like I said, is how everyone does it nowadays. But then if they're worried about like quality control, let's say they put a list of recommended streamers in the blog. So these same streamers that are the only streamers you can get these items from would just be the recommended ones to watch because most people are going to watch those anyway. But then someone like me who spends all this time making these videos for you guys and has a pretty loyal audience, love you guys, by the way, I can be like, hey guys, come watch me on Twitch because a lot of you don't even know I do stream on Twitch. I don't promote it much here because I'm still really focused on Fortnite there. The reason for that is that I'm spending the time I would stream Disney Dreamlight right now working on my videos until I'm caught up on my guides on my second playthrough. I have like 100 to 150 videos to make and I'm only about 12 deep and I'm trying to get those done before the game comes out for free while also juggling news, updates, and then my main stuff as well with all the Fortnite stuff that I do. So as you can imagine, it's a lot and it's not really fair that I get punished for that. You know, these Twitch drop campaigns, they bring literally thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of viewers to that Twitch directory. And so I just think that any streamer, like every person who's live right now, should have the same opportunity and it shouldn't be gatekept to a list of selected streamers. And if it is going to be gatekept to a list of selected streamers, there should be a public forum where you're able to apply in advance for a spot and this sort of thing. But instead, it's been very hush hush and selective. So thankfully, because of, you know, pushing back as you should always speak up about any sort of issue that you feel some type of way within reason, of course, they have already said that they're working on improving it. I understand this game is in early access. I understand things are new, but that's also the time to funnel in loyal viewers. So at the end of the day, it does kind of suck, but hopefully they've learned from it. And that is why I deleted my 11 minute rant, but I still wanted to share my thoughts. I just ask that you guys don't go now spreading information and rage on my behalf. You know, I appreciate if you feel bad for us creators or whatever, but we'll be okay. And I think they're going to improve it in the future. But yeah, that's the tea. Feel free to drop your thoughts down in the comment. If you don't understand all where I'm coming from, you're probably just not a creator or you lack general empathy and understanding of concepts. I am accepting pity fellows on Twitch. I will be streaming more Disney Dream My Valley over the next year and for many years to come. Right now, it's mostly Fortnite, but you can still come vibe with me. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed or you're excited about this items and or you like tea. Subscribe for new update content. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.